Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening all. In this opportunity, I would like to present my paper entitled "Analyze Toward Learning Obstacle of Junior High School Student on the Concept of Triangle." So, my paper is scope of mathematics education. My name is Ipan Afiyah Bintara, as author and presenter. I'm a student of Mathematics Education Universitas Pendidikan Indonesia. And my partner in this research is Dr. Haji Supiani Prabawanto, MED. He is lecturer of Mathematics Education Universitas Pendidikan Indonesia. Well, I'm going to present my paper into four parts. First part is the introductions. There are the study background, research questions, and goal. Second part is the method. There are the methods, subject, data collections, and analysis technique. Third part is the result and discussions, where I will tell the didactical, epistemological, and ontogenic obstacle. And last part is the conclusions. Okay, uh, first, the introduction. The background of this research began from the importance of geometry based on my in 1990, Van de Waal in 2001, geometry will always be used in solving problems both in mathematics itself and in everyday life. One of the benefits of geometry in life is to help make building in precept. One of the basic concepts in geometry is the triangle concept. However, there are many preparation studies results that solve the problem passed by students in learning the triangle concept. There are many factors that cause the problems, one of which is the learning of cycle experience by students when learning the math concept that based on Jupiter 2015 or Jerem 2012 and the other. And secondly, this is where the task of the teacher to minimize student learning obstacle. It's intended to students carry out learning activities optimally. So teacher must know the learning obstacle experience by their students. Therefore, it's necessary to have the research that analyze the learning obstacle in triangle concepts. So the research question is, what are the learning obstacle experience by students on the concept of triangle? And the aims uh, of this stud study to analyze student learning obstacle on the concept of triangle. Okay, next, the method of this study. The method uh, of this study is qualitative research approach with a case study design and the research in 445 students of class 9 grade of junior high school in Majalengka, West Java, Indonesia. The data collection technique in this research use data generation techniques consists of a diagnostic test interviews for mathematic teacher and for students and analyze document of the textbook used by students. The study used qualitative data analysis technique as follows first processing the student uh, diagnosis, diagnostic test result, interview result, and document analysis result. Second, collecting the important data about learning obstacle experience by students. Third, analyzing and classifying the identified learning obstacle. Fourth, presenting the data descriptively and concluding the study result. Okay, uh, next the result and discussions. The result of study saw uh, the student experience learning obstacle based on Bachel 2002. This learning obstacle are classified into three types. There is the didactical obstacle, epistemological obstacle, and ontogenic obstacle, feature one. Uh, the student answer is problems number one, figure one. So the student were asked to describe the definition of triangle and there are answer from student one. It can be seen student one really remember the definition of triangle in the textbook used by them. However, the definition of triangle in the textbook is written. A triangle is a plane that is bounded by three sides and has three angles. The choice of the word bounded by Create confusion over the student image of the triangle. Student interpret the definition of triangle in the textbook as an area bounded uh, by three sides. This is uh, more direct, directed to the area of the triangle. Selection the word bounded by should be replaced with the word has or uh, consists of or with because Josh 1996 defines a triangle as a plan with three sides. Uh, wait. So, 
Uh, here we saw the student experience orthogonic obstacle because students are not able to follow the learning demand on the triangle definition and didactical obstacle because the textbooks are in a de uh, inadequate in presenting the triangle definitions. And figure two, the student are well in problem number three. In figure two, it saw the student are asked to calculate the area of triangles and there are as well from student two. Actually, after being curious, student two knew that he had our in calculating the area of the triangle. The student uh, can share the formula for the perimeter of the triangle as the area of the triangle. That caused student only memorize the formula and didn't get the opportunity to understand the formula behind this. And we know Suryadi said that it can cause students to lose the meaning of the process or doing mathematics. Here, so the student experience orthogonic obstacle because students are not able to follow the learning demand in the area of the triangle materials and didactical obstacle because the presentation of the triangle concept in the textbook is incomplete or not in accordance with the needs of students and learning activities done facilitate students to learn actively. And next figure C, the, the students who are in problem number two, figure C will set the student uh, are asked to determine the following types of triangle and there are answer from student C. It can be seen student C is just uh, guessing in the determining the type of some triangle conditions. From the student answer during in the interview, student C has been able to determine the characteristic of right or isosceles or the other types of triangle, but it uh, but is not familiar with such non-routine questions because in that question give the triangular condition where the three side can form form a closed curve because it doesn't match the triangle in equality term. Here so that student experience antagonic obstacle because students are not able to follow the learning demand in the type of triangle materials and epistemological obstacle because the student is not able to uh, to use him knowledge about triangle in quality term to solve questions about types of triangle. Uh, finally, the conclusion of this study. According to the result of the study, it can be said the student of junior high school have experienced some types of learning obstacle and concept of triangle. Consists of first, antagonic obstacle. The students are harmed by uh, their inability to follow the learning demand about the definition of triangle, the types of triangle, and the area of triangle. Second, didactical obstacle. Students are harmed by incomplete or inadequate presentation of uh, triangle materials. And third, epistemological obstacle. That students are harmed by their inability to use triangle concept in the context of non-routine questions that are not the same as the context of questions given by the teacher. Okay, that's all for me. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions, please write in the comment. Goodbye.